In the annals of human history, few events have been as cataclysmic and transformative as the Black Death. This bubonic plague, which ravaged Europe in the mid-14th century, left an indelible mark on the world, shaping societies, economies, and cultures in ways that are still felt today. In this article, we delve deep into the history of the Black Death, exploring its origins, spread, and the profound impact it had on medieval Europe and the course of global history. The emergence of the Black Death, a pandemic that would go on to decimate Europe, is a tale interwoven with the complexities of nature and the intricacies of human interaction. The disease, caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, likely originated in the steppes of Central Asia. Here, in the vast open landscapes, the bacterium found a perfect reservoir in the rodent populations, which lived in close proximity to humans. As trade expanded in the medieval world, so too did the opportunities for diseases to travel. The Silk Road, an ancient network of trade routes that connected the East and West, played a pivotal role in the spread of the Black Death. Merchants, travelers, and caravans traversed these routes, unknowingly ferrying the deadly plague across continents. The journey of the Black Death to Europe is a testament to the interconnectedness of the medieval world. By the 1340s, the disease had reached the Crimea, a key trading post on the Black Sea. From there, it traveled via merchant ships to the Mediterranean. The bustling ports of the Mediterranean, teeming with traders from across the known world, became the gateways through which the plague entered Europe. Once in Europe, the Black Death moved rapidly. The continent, with its dense urban centers and lack of understanding of disease transmission, was unprepared for the onslaught. Trade routes, both over land and by sea, which had been conduits of wealth and culture, now became highways of death, facilitating the spread of the plague far and wide. This initial emergence and spread of the Black Death paint a picture of a world in transformation. Medieval society was on the cusp of the Renaissance, a period of great cultural, artistic, and intellectual awakening. Yet, it was also a time when the world was intimately connected through trade, but perilously ignorant of the microscopic dangers that lurked within. The Black Death, emerging from the East and traveling along the veins of trade and commerce, was not just a disease, but a harbinger of a new uncertain era in human history. The arrival of the Black Death in Europe plunged the continent into an abyss of despair, an epoch marked by unprecedented mortality and fear. The plague's onslaught was relentless and indiscriminate, striking bustling cities and quiet rural areas alike. Europe, in the mid-14th century, was witnessing one of the most catastrophic pandemics in its history. As the plague ravaged city after city, the social fabric of medieval Europe began to unravel. The streets of once vibrant cities were littered with the dead and dying. Families were decimated, and entire communities were wiped out. The scale of the tragedy was overwhelming, in some regions, entire villages were abandoned, left as ghostly relics of a peopled past. The psychological impact on the survivors was profound. People lived in constant fear, never knowing if they would be the next to succumb to the dreaded disease. This pervasive fear led to a breakdown in normal social relations. Neighbors became suspicious of each other, and families sometimes abandoned their sick loved ones, hoping to escape the contagion. The plague also brought a grim equality to a stratified society. It spared neither the rich nor the poor, the noble nor the peasant. Kings, clergy, and commoners alike fell victim to the disease. This indiscriminate nature of the Black Death further eroded the rigid social hierarchies of the time, leaving a deep imprint on the collective consciousness of the people. In a desperate search for explanations, many turned to the supernatural or sought scapegoats. Superstitions flourished, and minority groups, particularly Jews, were often wrongfully blamed for the spread of the plague, leading to horrific pogroms and further social upheaval. The economy, too, was not immune to the effects of the Black Death. With a significant portion of the workforce dead, fields lay fallow, and trade networks were disrupted. This led to food shortages and a general decline in the standard of living. The labor shortage, however, had an unexpected consequence it improved the bargaining power of the peasantry, planting the seeds for social and economic changes that would unfold in the following centuries. The Black Death sweep across Europe was more than a public health disaster, it was a defining moment in European history.
it challenged the foundations of medieval society, altered the course of economies, and changed the way people viewed the world and their place in it. Europe, in the wake of the Black Death, was a continent transformed, standing on the threshold of the modern age. The Black Death, as it sithed through Europe's population, also cut a swath through the established socio-economic order, reshaping the very foundations upon which medieval society stood. The impact of this demographic cataclysm was far-reaching and complex, fundamentally altering the dynamics between the various social classes and reshaping the economic landscape of the time. In a world where nearly half of the population had perished, labor became an invaluable commodity. The drastic reduction in the workforce led to a seismic shift in the labor market. Serfs and peasants, who had once been bound to the land under the feudal system, found themselves in a position of increased power. Landlords, desperate to maintain their estates and continue production, were forced to offer better terms to their laborers. This shift not only improved wages and working conditions for many peasants, but also eroded the very pillars of the feudal system. The labor shortage also sparked significant changes in agricultural practices. Faced with fewer hands to work the fields, landowners began consolidating smaller, less profitable fields into larger, more efficient holdings. This consolidation led to a transformation in agriculture, shifting from the traditional open field system to a more enclosed system, which would later pave the way for the agricultural revolution. Trade, the lifeblood of the medieval economy, was also profoundly affected. The initial outbreak of the plague disrupted trade routes and markets, leading to a short-term economic contraction. However, as Europe began to recover from the initial shock, a new economic landscape began to emerge. The scarcity of goods and the high demand for labor led to increased wages, which in turn led to a rise in consumer spending. This change boosted local economies and led to the development of more regional trade networks, reducing the dependence on long-distance trade routes. The socio-economic upheaval brought about by the Black Death also had far-reaching political implications. The weakening of the feudal system and the rise of a more market-driven economy began to shift the balance of power from the feudal lords to the monarchs and emerging urban classes. This shift laid the groundwork for the modern nation-state in the capitalist economic system. Furthermore, the socio-economic changes triggered by the Black Death inadvertently set the stage for the Renaissance and the subsequent age of exploration. With the decline of feudalism, there was a greater concentration of wealth and power in the hands of the emerging middle class and the centralized monarchies. This concentration of resources, combined with the intellectual awakening of the Renaissance, fueled the exploration and colonization that would characterize the following centuries. In essence, the Black Death was a catalyst for a profound transformation in medieval society. It dismantled the old feudal structures, gave rise to a more dy- The Black Death sweep across Europe left not only a trail of death and economic disruption, but also a profound and lasting impact on the cultural and religious landscape of the continent. This period of intense suffering and uncertainty spurred deep and lasting changes in the way people viewed the world, their faith, and their place in the cosmos. In a time where religion permeated every aspect of life, the Black Death posed a severe challenge to the prevailing religious beliefs. The magnitude of the suffering and death shook the foundations of the church, which struggled to provide explanations or solace to the afflicted masses. People's faith in the church and its teachings wavered as they witnessed clergy either succumbing to the plague or fleeing to avoid infection, leaving their flocks shepherdless in a time of dire need. This crisis of faith led to a growing disillusionment with the church and its clergy, who were seen as corrupt and ineffectual. The church's inability to protect people from the plague or to offer a convincing explanation for its occurrence opened the door to dissenting voices. This period saw the rise of new religious movements and the questioning of traditional religious authority, setting the stage for the upheavals of the Reformation in the following century. Moreover, the Black Death catalyzed significant cultural shifts. The widespread death and the constant presence of mortality led to a fascination with death in art and literature. This period saw the emergence of the dance macabre, or dance of death, motif in art, which portrayed death as a universal force that unites all humanity, regardless of status or wealth.
Literature of the time also reflected this preoccupation with death and the fragility of life, as seen in works like Boccaccio's The Decameron. The pandemic also influenced the development of a more human-centered worldview, a shift that would become a hallmark of the Renaissance. With the traditional structures and certainties of life upended, there was a turn toward human experience and individual expression. This shift was reflected in the arts, philosophy, and even in the burgeoning field of science, as people began to place more emphasis on human agency and the value of individual experience and observation. In essence, the cultural and religious repercussions of the Black Death were profound and lasting. The pandemic not only challenged the religious and cultural norms of the time, but also spurred a reevaluation of those norms, leading to significant changes in religious thought, artistic expression, and the very way people understood their place in the world. The Black Death, thus, acted as a crucible for change, shaping the cultural and religious contours of Europe for centuries to come. The catastrophic impact of the Black Death on Europe's population had a paradoxical silver lining. It spurred significant advancements in the field of medicine. The pandemic, which laid bare the inadequacies of existing medical knowledge and practices, became a catalyst for change, driving medical practitioners and scholars to seek more effective approaches to understanding and combating disease. Prior to the Black Death, medical knowledge in Europe was largely based on the teachings of Galen and other ancient authorities. This approach was predominantly theoretical, often relying on humoral theory which posited that health was maintained by a balance of four bodily fluids. However, the sheer scale and devastation of the plague made it abundantly clear that these traditional theories were insufficient in explaining or treating this new deadly disease. In response to this inadequacy, there was a noticeable shift towards more empirical and observational methods in medicine. Physicians began to place greater emphasis on direct observation of symptoms in the course of diseases. This change marked a significant move away from reliance on classical texts and towards a more hands-on, experiential approach to medical practice. The Black Death also led to the development of public health measures. Faced with a disease of such contagiousness and lethality, cities and states began to implement policies aimed at preventing the spread of illness. Quarantines were established, isolating ships and travelers for a period, origin of the term quarantine comes from the Italian quaranta giorni, meaning 40 days. Additionally, there was an increased focus on sanitation, as authorities sought to clean up urban environments to prevent the spread of the plague. Furthermore, the Black Death prompted the establishment of more formal medical education and the founding of institutions dedicated to the study of medicine. Universities began to develop medical faculties where the study of medicine was conducted in a more systematic and rigorous manner. This institutionalization of medical education was crucial in developing a more professional and standardized approach to healthcare. Finally, the experience of the Black Death contributed to a broader questioning and challenging of established authorities, including in the realm of science and medicine. This spirit of inquiry and skepticism laid the groundwork for the scientific revolution of the 16th and 17th centuries. The shift towards empirical observation and the questioning of traditional knowledge, which was accelerated by the Black Death, would ultimately lead to groundbreaking discoveries in various fields, including medicine. In summary, the Black Death, while a tragic episode in human history, played a pivotal role in advancing the field of medicine. It shifted the focus from theoretical to empirical methods, led to the implementation of public health measures, spurred the formalization of medical education, and fostered a spirit of inquiry that would drive future scientific advancements. The pandemic, in its devastation, planted the seeds for a medical renaissance, fundamentally changing how humanity approached health and disease. In conclusion, the Black Death was not just a temporary calamity, but a watershed event in world history. It irrevocably changed Europe, leading to the decline of feudalism, the rise of the nation-state, and the emergence of the modern world. Its impact on economics, culture, religion, and science has shaped the trajectory of human history, reminding us of the profound ways in which pandemics can alter the course of civilization.